bit uh, subdued this morning. Got in about one o'clock, correct. So plan is we're just gonna hit the road this morning and get breakfast on the way. So we head over towards uh, south of Belfast. A couple of areas over there where we'll stay for tonight. Have a bit more sedate night tonight, I think. But yeah, lovely sight this. Excellent facilities, beautifully maintained. Can't recommend it enough. Great location for a bus right outside in the Galway. Yeah, 10 out of 10 this side, fantastic. Catch up with you on the road. So this is O'Halloran's Caravan Park. Just on the outskirts of uh, Galway. And you could walk along the promenade into town if you wanted, uh, quite a walk. But then the bus, straight along there, into town. Very, very handy. The owners couldn't be more helpful. A lovely, lovely couple. Extremely helpful. Just a lovely, lovely place, this. Beautiful. All the surrounding area. Can't recommend Galway enough. I go so far to say is that I enjoy it nicer than Dublin. You can get a flight direct to Galway. Skip Dublin, just go straight to Galway. Smaller. Nicer place, I think. Lovely. So, Spawning's plans are we're heading across country now, diagonally northeast, across to a uh, nice area south of Belfast for a most likely a, cam a, well, a campsite tonight uh, for the last night because we've got a, a half eleven ferry first thing in the morning because we've got a, a half eleven ferry we need to be there for half past ten ish so enjoy the ride across country first stop breakfast and coffee Shout out to the petrol stations in Ireland. Brilliant coffee, brilliant food, absolutely lovely. Take a look at this bar lab. There's so much shit going on in there, it doesn't even fit inside. Unreal. Greg's eat your heart out. So we're just having a blast across country now on their N63. Quite a nice, uh, quite a nice road this one. Off the motorway is for good now. Definitely recommend this uh, N63 to get across country. From Belfast to Dublin across the Galway. Scenic Road. A long fad now. What this place is like, busy. One fella.
pretty impressive old uh, castle there, either side of the old bridge. Beautiful. My Nally, my Nally. A lovely little village. Gosh. So we've just arrived at the Carlong Fadlock ferry terminal. And there's the ferry just gone. But it's every 30 minutes, so that's not too bad. Lovely backdrop around here with the area of outstanding natural beauty on the other side on the Northern Ireland side. It's a lovely little part of Ireland this little bit here, it's really nice. So we're looking to stay somewhere on the other side. Find a campsite most likely. Get off here, turn left, head west, cross to the other side. That was close. From a man. You you tell them. Just on the lookout for a campsite now. There's a couple along this road off the ferry. Ideal location. Only an hour away from the Belfast ferry for the morning. Lovely here, beautiful. So we've just pulled up at Bloody Backpackers campsite just south of Newcastle, Northern Ireland. And it's a stunning location, this. All the way at the top. All the way at the top, then you, uh, I think there's a gate on the right. Take your time. Just phoned the fella, lovely fella. Extremely strict on no noise and alcohol after midnight, so I just told them how fantastic it was, and I wish every campsite said that. Unfortunately, they don't. Can you grab that gate? Thank you, thank you very much. He did ask what kind of bikes were hard for to get up this hill, so <laughs> luckily, adventure bikes. Hey, it's brilliant this, isn't it? Have you just opened that gate? Yeah. Sound eye. That's the word he said, aye. 
look at this little gem of a place. What are we looking at? Um, up there. Or down there. Perth Corey's away at the bloke's house. Here. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. On this uh, beautiful campsite, about four, four or five different fields where you can just pick and choose, camp where you like. Absolutely beautiful. Just getting the tents rigged up. Location, Look at the sea in front of you, and the mountain behind me. We'll see more of that when we get the drone up. And we've got midges again. What's just what's just happened, Craig? We just got. Oh shit! Well, right, let's do that again. <laughs> Guess what's just happened? We just got. <laughs> So it was all going great until he asked for £20 each. And uh, that's nearly double for what we're paying on the whole trip. <laughs> In fact, it is, isn't it? Double what we're paying on the whole trip. So we've got on the last night, but we don't mind because it's lovely. We're everything set out ready. We've got lots of uh, barbecue right now. And a massive chunky away barbecue. Ready for the set up for the night. Look how good I am as well. Fifteen eggs. Not one breakage. No wheelies or anything. That's after a little off-road circuit to get here. How good am I? Stopped it the opposite direction, straight down like that. Straight down. Yeah. Right. So you get big lumps off it. The master chef at work. Uh -huh. We marinated the chicken as well. Ah, I smoked the paprika. The dog likes the smell. Hey. Hello. Hello. Like the smell, eh? Yeah. Tonight's tipple. Last night in Ireland, must have been a, a beamish Irish stout. Eat that, we can chew it. Mm. Thanks for sticking with us and watching this trip. It's been a canny trip, isn't it? What's the highlights? One of the best, if not the best. Hi. The weather's been the best. The weather has been the best. Camping locations, yeah. unbelievable. The roads, the roads that day where we were, the second day, Aye. fast swoopy ones. Uh, yeah. Second day, after that day, 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 day two, I think. Yeah. Ten thousand wheelies. Yes. Uh, I never wheelie. Greenway. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't, I don't wheelie. Um, 
a mullet to open my wine today. <laughs> that was my highlight. <laughs> Being celebrating in style. Right, Pints of red wine. <laughs> Lush. Buns out, Pete. Cheeky little Merlot. Beer that should be done for everyone. Everyone likes a Merlot, don't they? Probably. Right. Good them. Well done, Corey. I skived off with the shower. It was all done when I came back. <laughs> and then just anyone pick one. Which mm, one get out you bastard. It's going to take all week, this. Aye, yeah, the lids are there. Dobbs. Big fat burger, sourdough. Very good one. Mm. Mm. Nice, nice, yeah. night. Up early. Nice big breakfast. Nice full moon out. Half past ten at night. Still light. Beautiful. See you all in the morning. Time for the last supper. Are you bacon engineer? Yes, bacon. Bacon engineer, coffee engineer, egg, egg guru. <laughs> Great cup of this, only 70 gram or something. Insulated, brilliant. Starting to look a bit more like vomit now, lovely. I'll tell you what, the stuff Transia use on the non-stick, I don't think there's anything beats it. Amazing. Need to be for our cooking. I need a I need a drink. Oh no, it's Fine breakfast. Ian, that's all brilliant because I know you're busy still. Sorry. <laughs> it took too long. <laughs> Or he's been looked after because he's faffed over all week, being Italian and everything, and a chef. Right. 
let's go. Having a bit of a clutch issue here. Clutch is nearly fully disengaged after about 10 mil of travel. that like a pretty bottom bronc every time I pull away. Big reckons it's got a, a leak on the clutch master cylinder or the the push rod clutch push rod thing. Um, it definitely needs bleeding there's literally nothing there at all. So we've got a big trip planned in three weeks time. We'll have to get back and get that looked at. Probably on the verge of not, go, not going into gear soon. Cheers, mate. Thanks. So we're meant to set off at 8. It's now quarter to 9. So it's going to be one of them ferry dashes, which we've all become too familiar with on my trips. Heading to the ferry now, um, the morning ferry. Not much to video, but just to take five minutes out uh, to thank you for watching the series. I hope you really enjoyed it. I mean, it took a lot of <laughs> obviously, this has took a hell of a lot of work to make this camping series and videoing with a bunch of lads is very hard, <laughs> obviously language stuff like that you know they've all got to behave themselves but they've been fantastic the three lads have been with so i'd like to thank craig corey and ian for supporting the channel and the video you know they're, they're a part of this now you know there's another couple josh who and mark who usually come but couldn't make it without them wouldn't have a channel really so I'd like to thank all them. I really hope you've enjoyed this series. I've had massive fun putting it together. I can't believe how lucky we've been with the weather. You know, weather, it's still beautiful. And what to say about Ireland, really, um, it, it's just amazing. Once again, blown away by it. Friendliest people, like literally on the planet. Lovely, lovely accent lovely people always interested always say hello interested in what you're doing it always makes a difference when you're on a bike you get more attention anyway it seems that because you've made such more of an effort to come over on the bike and go camping and everything people are more interested we've had some cracking locations we've had campsites we've had wild camping <laughs> the first well a couple of wild camps that we did were absolutely breathtaking Stunning, especially the cliff top wild camp. I mean, I would never imagine a camping location like that. I would never imagined it. So it's been great. It's been cheap. I haven't spent much. I mean, everything apart from the site last night was, you know, ten pound a night, twelve euros a night in the campsites, and obviously free on the wild camps. We only ate out. We had one pizza out in Galway. Apart from that, we've cooked our own food. You know, we haven't spent much at all. You know, we're talking three, three, four hundred pound on a on a week's holiday, doing what you love doing. I think it's peanuts. Just coming into Newcastle now. Lovely place this. Always a lot of bikes around this place. Just a quick shout out to all the subscribers and followers and likers. Really appreciate your your comments and your thoughts. There's a few questions that I've asked. That I wouldn't mind a bit of help on. But um, other than that, no. Thank you very much for following this channel and our trips. So I'll leave you with a parting shot on the ferry. 
and really look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks all. Take care. Well, one of the first ones here. Unbelievable. Never happened before. Always the last ones. Always. Quite pleased with that. Beautiful day. Flat calm. Plane taken off. Yeah, excellent.